Hello amazing people, I hope you're doing well today. This is going to be a little bit of a different styled video. If you've seen my videos before, they're usually in a nice studio, nice and edited and stuff like that. Today is just going to be a raw, me spinning value to you guys. I'm going to walk you through my 100k onboarding process. That's a much bigger part of my whole fulfillment circle or cycle for my business. Uh, if you like videos like this, let me know. I will release parts one, two, four, five, basically everything I have uh, on this YouTube channel if you guys are ready for them and if you guys like this style of content. But essentially, I'm going to go over the 100K onboarding process that has allowed my company to take on more clients and also make service fulfillment and service delivery a little bit easier. If you cannot onboard people properly, it just starts the whole flow of the project off on a bad foot. You want to get client ascension as fast as possible, meaning as soon as they pay, how much value are they getting and how quick can you get it to them? If people pay, the last thing you want them to experience is buyer's remorse. And this 100K onboarding process is a very easy and simple sort of framework to follow so people could get from point A paying to point B a result as soon as possible. I also have another video called Automating Onboarding, uh, automating onboarding with AI. Uh, that's another video you can watch. It will come up on the screen somewhere right here. I highly suggest you start with this and then move over to this revamped 100K onboarding process. So let's just dive right into it. Again, if you want parts one, two, four, five, just let me know if you guys like this style of video. I'll be happy to give you all the information I possibly can. So what we need at all costs, this is sort of the goals of the onboarding process. One gives us the information we need. This is massive. Guys, you cannot do service delivery if you don't have the information you need. So don't make this onboarding process so simple for the client where you don't get enough info to actually do the work. Because the last thing you want when our, pay, our clients pay us five to $7,000, the last thing that they want is for us to be contacting them every single day. Like, hey, can we have this login? Hey, how would you like this? Hey, can we do this or that? Like, way, they just want to pay us and then do onboarding and then have us do our job what they paid us to do. So do not just check in with them every single day. Make sure that you get all the information you can need to actually do the work and fulfill the service. All right, must be fast and instant. So as soon as payment happens, as soon as that contract or that agreement gets signed, how fast can you actually get them the onboarding and how fast can they get through the onboarding? So again, you can start delivering them a result to take them from point A where they are to point B where you promise they will end up. All right, easy to follow and organize. An onboarding process should be super simple. Like you should literally be able to give it to a team member or even like your little brother or little sister and they should be able to follow it step by step on how they could actually go through the onboarding process, set up the software, give you access, give you information, fill out forms. It, could all, it should all be so, so, so easy, easy to follow and organize. Again, the last thing that you want, again, is them reaching out to you like, hey, this onboarding question doesn't make sense. Hey, I tried to sign in for the software, but it's not working. You should literally break it down step by step so they cannot mess it up. All right, so that's number three. And then four is automated in as little human effort as possible. You don't want to be going in and making custom onboarding every time. You don't want to be sending out emails. You should onboard it as much as possible. We're not going to cover out, we're not going to cover the actual onboarding flows here and the make.com scenarios and all this stuff. I just want to give you a note that this should be automated as much as possible. If you want a video on how to actually on, onboard um, or automate onboarding, I should say, you could check this one out right here or I can make another video just let me know. Now, <clears throat> What's these goals, right? If we accomplish all these, what this allows us to do is take on five plus clients a month and scale. So if you do not have onboarding dialed in, which is like the starting point of your offer, right? When they pay you, when they sign an agreement, the starting point is onboarding. If you do not have that dialed in, it's gonna be super, super hard to scale because it just backs everything up, right? If you get onboarding done within three days of them signing up, that's awesome. If they get it done within a week, that just backs everything up four days, if that makes sense. All right, so it'll allow you to take on five plus clients a month and then scale. Also, this really works well if you have a systemized offer. So if more or less you're working in one niche, doing one service and providing one result, that's the best possible thing you can do. That's actually what my business and my company has sort of moved over to because it's much easier to fulfill. Custom work is really a pain in the ass. At least it was piling up for us. We're still doing it, but now we're moving into a more systemized product and service uh, to deliver for our clients. And then number two, fulfill faster than anyone else. A lot of the games competition, guys, if you're running an agency or a company, there's competition, there's thousands of other businesses that are doing what you are doing. That means there's thousands of other businesses that your client could go to instead of you, right? The reason they went with you is because you're promising them a result faster than anybody else, all right? We try to keep, and I'll go this in a second, the 30-day challenge calendar, meaning we try to challenge ourselves to fulfill the best possible results in 30 days, all right? And for what we're doing, that's pretty impressive. So how fast do you actually fulfill and can you do that faster than all your competition, right? Because speed is everything. People want to get the result and then secondary, they want speed. How fast can they get the result, all right? That's like a lot of these workout programs you'll see 
get abs in the next three months, which is awesome, right? Because no one wants to wait for something they paid for. Now, three, fulfill more accurately than anybody else. This goes in tangent with speed. It's not good if you're just fast. You also want to be good and fast. So there's a balance, right? You can't just go, you know, balls to the wall, rush everything, throw it all together and give it to them if it doesn't produce a result. You want to be able to do a, as fast as you can, do the surface as fast as you can while also providing a result, which is pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Don't go as fast as you can without getting a result. All right, so these are our goals. And then if we accomplish or once we accomplish these goals with this 100K onboarding process, this is what that will sort of allow our company to do and your company to do as well. Now, <clears throat> this is the 30-day calendar that we set up for our company, and this is how this works. So day zero, so before anything happens at all, before the countdown even starts, is onboarding completed to at least 90%. So what we send them over, and then hold on, let me pause the video and show you what this looks like. Now, this is sort of what that looks like, guys, and I'm covering basically the step-by-step -step stuff here uh, for company reasons, but I step-by-step -step have every single thing that we need to do planned out. And then this, all these things go right into the onboarding. All right. So you have to send out onboarding, send out onboarding template, video assets, have mechanism to answer your questions. And all these steps turn into all these steps down here where we literally break down every single thing you need to do. All right. So I just want to show you this really quickly because how in depth this gets is insane. But once you have this dialed in, you can pretty much take on infinite clients uh, and really just scale your company. All right, so that's sort of what the onboarding looks like. We literally list out every single thing we need to do. And then based on that, it's like, okay, what information does the client have to give us so we could actually put together onboarding that will give us all the information we need and be as easy as possible for them to understand and complete, which is, again, these two goals. Give us all the information, be fast, easy to follow. All right, so that's what we do. This will be a whole other um, video, us breaking down literally step-by-step -step what we do. If you want that, just shoot us a comment. So that's how we come up with the onboarding, all right? Um, so we'll have pre-configured sheets, which we just went through above, and then we'll have the data for the KPI consultant call. Basically, we do consulting now as well, so we hired a consultant. So that comes into play on day one, but you cannot consult uh, if you don't have data. So that's why it's day zero before anything even happens, before this kickoff call, this onboarding call, this consultant call even starts, you need to have onboarding dialed in from your clients. All right, so you have to set that expectation. And again, we could go into another video about how to set expectations, but you have to say, look, and I sit down with our clients and tell them, look, I know you're busy. I know you're a seven-figure business owner. When this onboarding comes across and when you get the email from us, you have to sit down for 60 minutes and do the onboarding, and you have to do it thoroughly. We set this expectation with them, guys, and a lot of the business owners respect that. They're like, I really like how you handle business. You set the expectations with us, so you know we're made aware of what to do because – if you don't set the expectation and they do half-assed onboarding and they rush through it, then what? This falls apart, right? They don't give us the information that we need, and then we're contacting them back and forth, and you just start off on the wrong foot. So set the expectation and say, hey, we need you to complete onboarding as much as possible. We say 90%, like if they have questions, complete it as much as possible before we hop on the onboarding call or the consultant call, which is onboarding call, consultant call, kickoff call, same thing to us, different naming standards. You probably have something similar in your company. So Assuming that <clears throat> onboarding is completed, we look through it, it looks good. Day one is the consultant call. So the consultant call is just specific to our company. We're going to consult them on different metrics in their business. We're going to help them set standards, benchmarking, all this other stuff. You do what you want in that first call, but that gives us all the information. So for the next 10 days, we're going to get 80% of the work done. Again, the next 10 days, 10 days, we're going to get 80% of the work done for this client. So from the consultant call, kickoff call, KPI, call, whatever you want to call it, Next 10 days, we get all the work done because one, what, what we have is the onboarding. We have the information and we have a talk, like a face-to-face -face conversation with them. So we know all the information that they're looking for. We know what their goals are. We know the specifics and the ins and outs of their business from that call. So we should be able to get 80% of the work done, templates installed, accounts made on the back end, all this stuff. Now, again, this helps if you have a systemized offer because essentially, if you have templates ready to go, if you're working with the same niche, you're working with the same service, you're working with the same sort of companies and they have the same goals, you could have templates, guys. So like you could do a lot of work for one client and then transfer a lot of that work over to the next client because they have similar goals. They're in the same industry. They're in the same niche. They do the same thing, you know, relatively. All right. So we have the templates ready to go. We install the templates and then we try to put in as much information into these templates and, and customize them based on the onboarding information we receive and based on the KPI consulting uh, call that we have with them. All right. 
And then after day 11, we have day 12, which is the customization call. So this is the second call. This is where we show them and we demo the templates. We demo the system that we made. We demo everything. Say, hey, based on our call, we have all of this stuff set up. What do you like? What do you not like? All right. Now, I do not expect them to like it on this call. I do not expect them to be happy with it on this call. This call is for their feedback. It's for customization and feedback. All right. So backing up here, consulting call, we have the information. 80% 80% templates are installed. Basically, 80% of the work is done within 10 days. On that 12th day, we have an actual call with them to go over the work we have done so far. Then the next eight days, we finalize the system. And then after that, we have a wrap-up call. All right, so uh, let's break it down the back end really quickly here. So after the customization call, we'll have notes. I'll use the AI recorder to take notes for us. Basically say, hey, they want this change. They want that change. They want this brand change. They want this data point change, whatever it is, whatever they want changed, whatever they want customized. Uh, we have another eight days to finish that. Then we finalize the system. And then we, again, set expectations. Say, hey, we wanted to deliver you the best system in 30 days. To our standards, it's looking really good. We want to set the expectations that this is the last chance that you'll have at revisions. So let us know if there's anything at all that you want changed. You know, sort of speak now or forever hold your peace. Now, if they really want something changed in the future, it's not a big deal. But again, we want to set expectations because we're lifting the scale. If they're nagging and they're sort of with us and dragging the process out, that's bad for our business because we have other clients to fulfill for. Do you understand? So um, we want to set expectations. And then this is not a call step. This is a loom step. So we'll just send over a demo loom to them. And then in that loom, we'll say, hey, again, set expectations. This is the last chance that you have to make changes. Do you like how it looks? Do you see yourself using this? Do you see the ROI you're going to get from this? All this stuff. Um, We set those expectations with them and we send them over that loom. And then based on their feedback, four days from that feedback, we have that final call with them. So the third and final call, the wrap-up consultant call, and then we confirm support and assets for the future. We don't charge too many retainers. We have before. We don't know if we're going to do it in the future. Uh, But essentially, we're going to confirm support with them. So if you have questions, you know, two months out, how could you get in contact with us? Here are your training assets. So we're not just going to give you a system and not tell you how to use it. We're going to give you training assets customized to your business so your employees know what to do, so you know what to do. So if something breaks, you know how to fix it. All right, we're going to give you training assets for the video. And then this final wrap-up call on day 25 is basically just <clears throat> confirming how we're going to help them in the future, confirming how those assets work and stuff of that nature. All right, you can say this is day 25, but essentially <clears throat> we try to keep it in this 30-day window because say you know a few things go wrong, that will give us five days to really gather ourselves if a few things go wrong here and there, if they you know, don't get back to us after we send them the loom for a few days. So we try to keep it again within 30 days. And that is the 30 day challenge calendar basically for ourselves and our company to fulfill the best possible service in the most accurate way in the fastest time, faster than anybody else in the market can. All right. And this onboarding process sort of gives us the means uh, to do that. And again, we're trying to accomplish these goals so we could do this. All right. Our goals are here. We accomplish those goals when we accomplish those goals it will allow us to scale essentially all right so i hope this was this was useful again this is a, a video that i usually don't make these are all internal processes and systems that i make for my own company you can see that there's a lot of them um and it's just something that i thought you guys would like a lot of you guys are running your own business your own ai automation agency your own smma your own companies in general uh, and onboarding is the first step of success for a great relationship with your client, a client that will not only pay you once, but pay you twice, but refer you to someone else uh, and really just, you know, be a, a really positive influence on your business. So start the foot or start your journey off on the right foot with your client by making sure you have a 100K onboarding process dialed in. Uh, this is very specific to our company. You guys might have something different, but this is sort of just something I thought you guys should know. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know and be sure to subscribe, guys. I've never made as much content as I have before in my life. We're at 1K subs now and we're only growing from here. Huge, huge announcement soon. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, it will be the first link in the description. Free community with templates, with guides, with weekly calls with myself. Awesome stuff in there. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If you want more videos and if you want steps one and two, four and five, let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Please dial in onboarding. It's the first step to get to that 10K dial. That 10K a month, that 50K a month, that 100K a month. Uh, I'm not cutting this video at all. So if I stutter, pardon me. I hope this was valuable. Drop a comment down below of what you want next. And I'll see you later.